Hello and welcome to the training skills video assignment as part of the 2010 Delta Society CGC Instructors course. My name's Andrew and in the next series of clips I'll be demonstrating some of the training methods recommended by Delta for all pet dog owners. My training subject is going to be Lizzie. Sit Lizzie. Good girl. She's a two-year-old black and white female Siberian Husky and she was saved from euthanasia at a Sydney pound by Husky Rescue and she'll be with me for fostering and rehoming and as part of that she'll hopefully get some training too. So she's fairly typical of the kind of dogs that we see. She knows a couple of things but is largely untrained and I think one of her biggest challenges is going to be patience. When Lizzie first came to us she was very much underweight and had a few health issues but she's recovering now and so to try to keep her interested and motivated in training I'm going to be using some very high value training rewards in this case barbecue chicken sit Lizzie which is one of the few things that Lizzie has shown that she really likes good girl so one of the first things I'll be doing is conditioning Lizzie to a bridge and that's something I can then use later in training to show Lizzie at the exact moment when she's done what I've asked in this case my bridge is going to be a black dog I click clicker and to teach Lizzie the meaning of the clicker all I'm going to do is click and then reward For this part of the training, it doesn't matter what Lizzie's doing, all I'm doing is building an association between the click of the clicker and the delivery of a food treat, in this case barbecue chicken. What I'm looking for in using the clicker is for Lizzie to recognise the sound and come to expect that it means food will follow. So we'll do this for a few training sessions and then come back. When we're training, one of the most important things is to be prepared. So for all of these sessions, I'll be dressed appropriately in long pants with enclosed shoes. And I've got a couple of pieces of training equipment as well, including this treat pouch with a plastic liner where I've got my barbecue chicken. And of course my clicker, which I'm using as a bridge. A click is not the only thing that I can use as a bridge. I could, for example, use this dog whistle, which I'd teach Lizzie in exactly the same way as the clicker. Lizzie, come. Good girl. Good girl. If I want to start a training session, I should check that Lizzie's also willing to work. And to do this, I can just offer her some of the treats that I've got. If she takes them, that's usually a good sign that she's also interested in training. Lizzie, would you like some? Oh, good girl. And I'll want to keep my training session short, maybe five or 10 seconds, but certainly no longer than a few minutes. And at the end, I'll need to give Lizzie a cue that we're finished and she can go off and play. And to do this, I just go, off you go. <laughs> 